Scott from Rock Hill, South Carolina. One of my favorite pay-per-views of all time is WrestleMania 10. It had everything. One of the best pay-per-view openers of all time. The very first ladder match on pay-per-view in WWF. A feel-good moment with my favorite wrestler of all time, Bret Hart, celebrating his big title win. One thing that bugs me about the show, though, is the finish of the main event. Yokozuna had Bret Hart beat, dead to rights. He was up on the second rope, about to hit the bonsai drop, and lost his balance. In my opinion, it made Bret Hart look like one lucky SOB, and Yokozuna, the big monster heel, looked like a complete doofus. It doesn't hurt the match enough for me to hate it, but I always thought that if Bret Hart were to beat Yokozuna straight up with some kind of big move, that would have made his feel-good moment that much sweeter. What are your opinions on the WrestleMania 10 main event finish? I hated it. I didn't like the match itself either. I actually enjoyed their match at WrestleMania 9 more. Uh, but I, I hated that fi- I hated that finish when I saw it when I was younger, and I hate that finish now. Uh, and the thing about it is, you know, he went up on the second rope to do the bonsai drop, and Roddy Piper is the referee. And Roddy Piper and Bret Hart have a history. And so you would think, okay, maybe Piper... Piper kind of has his hand on the rope, if I remember correctly, but he's not really doing anything. And then the guy just falls. Now, it would make sense if Piper had grabbed the rope and shook it, (laughs) right? And then the guy falls off. He didn't even shake the rope. He just went up like he did in every other match he ever had. And he fell... And in falling off, he just looks so stupid. He looks so dumb. I think... And of course, it's easy to go back now, right? Hindsight 2020. But I think the perfect finish for that match would have been a sharpshooter. I think... You had the story there one year earlier, WrestleMania 9, Caesars Palace, if you remember at the end of that match, before Hulk Hogan came out to save the day. Bret Hart got Yokozuna in the sharpshooter. He had to do it a little bit differently. He had to wait until Yoko was on his belly, and then he wrapped up those big tree trunk legs in the sharpshooter, and then Mr. Fuji broke it up with some salt. He threw salt in Bret Hart's eyes. I think it would have been cool here one year later to have Brett lock him up in the sharpshooter. And maybe this time Fuji is again, you know, the camera gets him going for the salt. But this time Piper's the referee. And Piper stops it or he gets between them. And Brett ends up getting the submission. The big monster taps out. And Brett wins the championship and the place goes bonkers. I mean, I remember the pop that Brett got in the garden at SummerSlam in 91 when he beat Perfect for the Intercontinental title with the sharpshooter. And Perfect was only in the sharpshooter for like five seconds. Uh, it's like as soon as Bret Hart put the hold on, he had he had submitted because his back was in such bad shape. But when he gave up and the referee called for the bell, the place went nuts. And I think you would have had the same visual here had he gotten Yokozuna to tap out. And here's the referee waving furiously for the bell to be rung. The place would have gone nuts. I mean, the place went nuts anyway. It's not a big deal. But yeah, I agree with you. It's, you know, WrestleMania 10 was kind of a landmark show. That was a landmark main event with such a shit finish. Uh, I think the sharpshooter would have been the way to go there, personally. Uh, 